coming out of that gift box, and I did not notice them until right now because I am a bad Lolita. But yes, I had to search far and wide for the mint version because it's the only one that I love. F the yellow version. It is awful. I'm sorry, Lore. And you know what I have to say to that? Okay, okay, that was a little aggressive. Let me dial it back. After Tyler mocked the yellow colorway of Wrapping Heart, I set out to make a video showing its versatility and overall cuteness. I aim to prove that Wrapping Heart in yellow is valid. Actually, during TechoCon, Tyler did see it in person and say that she liked it. I have Holly and Hyperkiss as witness, but sadly, I didn't get to record it. Well, friends, let's get started. And Tyler, get ready to eat your words. Eat them. Here we have a typical Lolita silhouette and coordinate. This brings a sort of Hime or princess look. I'm wearing an angelic pretty headpiece with a rock star wigs rainbow wig, a Taobao princess blouse, some bow tights I got on eBay, and bodyline rocking horse shoes. I'm posing with my rainbow Rilakkuma. This dress is like a rainbow itself. It has so many colors you can work with, and Rilakkuma complements it so well. My next coordinate is inspired by Lily from Pokemon. I wanted to imagine myself as a Pokemon trainer or gym leader, but through Lolita and not a direct cosplay. Did I really... <laughs> did I really just write Pokemo? Pokemo, not Pokemon. Maybe I did this on purpose and this is a license-free version of Pokemon. Or I just forgot the last letter. Anyways, Ditto looks so good with this coordinate matching the purples in the print. My cotton candy feet shoes and bag that are both holographic totally complement and reflect these colors. Reflect. <laughs> I've paired this with a silver wig from Donna Love Hair. I don't see silver hair with pastel Lolita a lot, but I really like how it looks, especially when you have blues or pinks in your print. I'm wearing a pink blouse that I got at Target and the Museum of Ice Cream Sprinkle socks that were also from Target and a big straw hat from Forever 21. As for the next coordinate, don't click off. Don't, don't, uh, don't hit X, keep, hold on. Okay, listen, hear me out. This, uh, this coordinate is in rebellion to tropes people hate in Lolita. I'm not wearing a blouse, instead I'm wearing a yellow peignoir, but I really like it and the length doesn't go past the skirt. It falls more like an overlay instead of hanging far below the skirt. The yellow goes with it perfectly and I don't think that it takes away or distracts from the rest of the coordinate. I'm wearing mysterious bear ears, which I'm not sure the origin of. Someone definitely gave them to me and I thought it was my friend Emma, but when I asked her, she said she didn't. They have a marking on them that says BB. I don't know if that's old body line or old baby the star shine bright, but I think they look cute with this cord. I know you're looking at the fishnets and runners. Hang on. Okay, we'll get there. I'm wearing a minty mix rainbow wig and I've gotten so many negative comments on this wig in my Lolita React series. I know clearly it isn't natural looking, but I think when it's balanced out with a bunch of other pastels, it looks like it really belongs and is cohesive. No matter what anyone says, I really love these rainbow minty mix wigs. Plus, I think all those people who commented are not people who actually wear Lolita. Pfft, normies. I have this cute choker I think Stevie made for me, or maybe Colin made it. No, it was probably Stevie. Anyways, they gifted it to me at Onicon and I love it. The colors also match so perfectly. <sighs> All right, the tights. Yes, I'm wearing fishnets because I like them. Why not? To directly quote Tyler, fight me. I don't have to defend fishnets on my channel. Everybody should be used to it by now. Pro tip, wearing ankle socks with fishnets is a lot more comfortable than wearing them on their own and adds a little extra cute. 
Lastly is the Allbirds sneakers. I just love these shoes. They are crazy comfortable and the soft purple color works with kawaii fashion. As much as you want to read me for these, it's really common in older fruits magazines, gothic lolita bibles, and Kara to see lolitas wearing sneakers with lolita because they are wearing lolita in a daily way and living out their lives. Getting back into more traditional lolita but still different coordinate, this one has a sort of Liz, Lisa, or alarm feeling to it. I really like it. It gives me a really fun vibe. I'm wearing a pink beret. Wow, shocker. Laura wears a beret. Drink. Take a drink of water. It's important to stay hydrated. I paired this with a really golden yellow wig, a pearled sweater top, which is from Long Tall Sally, a shop for tall women. This shirt is supposed to be a three quarter length, but it fits me more like a little bit above a long sleeve. I really love the pearls on it and it's such a comfy alternative to a blouse. Cotton candy feet shoes and bag with a little bear charm Holly got me. Plus these lacy socks I got at a random shop while in Japan. This coordinate is a little abstract, hence modeling it with scrump. I'm wearing my Kawaii Till I Die beret from Bobblesaurus, a minty mix wig, and top from a Swan Kiss Lucky Pack, along with a necklace a friend made for me years ago. I wore these cute alien tights that were sent to me a long time ago and scrunched up thigh-high striped socks from Sock Dreams, pulled all together with my rainbow YRU creepers that Holly got me for Christmas. I really love these shoes, and this whole coordinate was basically built around me wanting to wear them. The colors work so perfectly. Now in conclusion, my final look is a take on casual Lolita with hints of alarm. I'm wearing a split minty mix wig, which I really want to see more of again in Lolita. I really enjoy this look. I think Melanie Martinez has phased out enough for us to start wearing them again. I don't know, tell me your thoughts. A turtleneck a friend gave to me and I'm not sure what you would call this garment. It's like a peignoir vest? It's just a nice outer layer that adds a little bit more frill. Thigh high socks from Sock Dreams in pink and worn pulled up with cotton candy feet shoes. The possibilities for this jumper skirt don't end here though. You have endless potential. You could pair it with really any pastels and go all rainbow, or even just focus on one color within the print. Yellow is my favorite colorway of the Wrapping Heart series. I just find that there is so much variety of how you can style it. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Big thanks to Hyperkiss for letting me borrow it because I don't actually own Wrapping Heart. I cannot understand how anyone could hate this dress at all because it's beautiful. The gradient to the blue is so nice and I feel anyone who doesn't like this colorway should see it in person because I feel like that might change their mind. I feel very attacked! I thought that borrowing it and making this video I would get my fill of it and not want to buy it but quite the opposite. I really want this dress. I'd love to own it in the future. Thank you to my friend Ishkon for the use of his backdrops and lastly the additional help from Angela Loves Cute who sent me these coordinate planning stationery. You can grab your own right here. If you are interested in seeing extra content, early access to videos, behind the scenes, and more, check out my Patreon. Big shout out to patron Princess Trashy. Let me know in the comments your own opinions on this colorway, which coordinate you'd most likely wear, and if this counts as slander towards Tyler, and any subsequent legal advice you may have. Just kidding. Am I kidding? I don't know. S stay lovely. Especially you, Tyler. Especially you.